Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Takiro and welcome back to this let's play of Doki Doki Literature Club Where me and Momo will try to um, bake cakes today Yep So that can only go horribly wrong So but uh, we will jump into it um, So it's already Sunday I've been getting in increasingly anxious about Natsuki's uh, upcoming visit Anxious I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help me. I wonder if she'll act any different than is it just the two of us, when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one of... Uh, we sent each other one after extracting numbers uh, to double check, but it turns into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. Of oh course, she's one of them! She also really likes uh, complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki's aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayuri since she left club earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between Sayuri, uh, between what Sayuri said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayuri's feeling aside when she's uh, when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayuri before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayuri's house, I knock on the door before entering it uh, myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayuri isn't anywhere in the first floor, so as soon as she's up in her room. It's already strange, <laughs> it's already strange of her not to run down and, get, and greet me. I head up to her uh, bedroom. Where I finally find her. Sayuri? Hi, new kid. I sit down in her room. Sayuri forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sarah's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and all the creation that she had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I ended up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Terry had already lived by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Sherry uh, stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just want to see how you were doing. After we left on Friday, when something, uh, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Terry smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, new kid. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. 
You wouldn't have come here. So, uh, you wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> uh, Sayori? I grasp Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? I, are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> Sherry gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, new kid. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayuri? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, new kid? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's just... Uh, that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Mm. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Siri kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want to uh, so badly for me to just not think about her? Why is Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your cl close friend. Because if I knew I would have done anything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I can do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, new kid. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste efforts caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's a bit of, uh, it's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feeling at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, new kid. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears uh, straight down to his face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now, uh, and now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grabbed her Yuri's shoulders. This time I pulled her, in, uh, I pulled her into a tight embrace. 
You killed Sayuri. I don't care if it feels. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes a worthwhile enough. If you make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. New kid. Shuri is hu isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayuri's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this, new kid. I. Sayuri uh, barely managed to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm going. To, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want for, is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to be changed. Uh, to change, I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'll better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayuri uh, finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, new kid. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayuri, uh, Sayuri lets me go. As she does so, uh, as she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me? Uh, how about? How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. Ah. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sarah wraps her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It will be fun. To my surprise, Sayuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good. Uh, be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my best. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayuri and exit her house. On the, on the way home, I find myself still feeling unease. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayuri is right. I shouldn't be worried too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes back at home and, and silently awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Why didn't she knock a ring? Stupid. Stop. Hey, I don't know what I uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki is something other than a school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such clothes make me uh, makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make me make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so uh, so don't be weird 
Just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I, s I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuko is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all the way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients, if I didn't already have them at home. Good! Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something sneaky like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where is, where's your hospitality, new kid? Come on! Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grabbed the bag Natsuki's holds out to me. Ugh. This is ridiculously heavy! <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, that's okay. It seems like I always underestimated you. <laughs> it's because I'm small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki uh, hits a fist into my chest. H hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Yeah. Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes, uh, I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, geez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri, doesn't mean you shouldn't treat me like... Ah! Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki? Forget it! I didn't say anything! I should apologize. Huh? I appreciate uh, that you were trying to be nice. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Nah. How would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Mm. Gross. Hey! Was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness with you, kid. Let's get smiles uh, divorcedly. Please spare me. Well, if that's what decides to diss out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's uh, satisfied enough for now. Finally, starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spills, uh, spill flour. Uh, I tried that again. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spill flour, and plastic bags are sp uh, thrown about every countertop. The mixer isn't uh, big enough to make all the, but, uh, the batter at once, so we had to do it several times. 
Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up the, pre the precising baking. Her precise baking, sorry. <laughs> New kid, where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going, uh, going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors are diff aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, uh, that's a cute idea. Are you doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out to, of me. Meanwhile, I see her uh, separating the batter into smaller balls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Uh, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if you just uh, looking at it makes everyone's uh, eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Jerry and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I'll use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you're completely, uh, you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's get getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with the whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Yeah. The icing is still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whiskers, uh, whisk from me and uses the other hand to tilt the ball back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing is already improved. See? As if to embrace, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly stand to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my whisk. Whist. I don't want your gross finger in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back trying to inch my finger toward the ball. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like uh, to see you try. I push harder just enough so my finger can reach the icing. I totally scoot some with my finger just as Natsuki tucks with all her might. Ugh. The force of Natsuki's pulling me causes me to double making her double in turn. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big lump of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mm. She tried to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before showing it the finger toward my own face. You wish! I'm fast! I grab her wrist and my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab one, uh, that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> and Natsuki died. Sorry, guys. Cough. <laughs> Cough. <clears throat> Stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. I'm fine. 
I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know, I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb, uh, saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You should really, uh, you shouldn't really tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. <laughs> what? Did, did, did you seriously just? <laughs> Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. You could. You really shouldn't do that kind of thing. Uh, that do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? Uh, what kind of question is she asking me? Just like that? How did the mood turn uh, to this so quickly? Uh, Natsuki gazed at me in silence. I noticed her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Uh, <laughs> 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 Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder. <laughs> you left the dirty train there, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You shouldn't have <laughs> you should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki used an oven mitt. I grabbed the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the shelf, stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyways, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. A cat has nicely sliced the cupcake tray into the oven. I watch. God fucking dang it. Then I will uncle pick up the whisks and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, uh, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blizzard of sweet smells warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better once they add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or, uh, or other pattern patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on cake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Uh, I see. This gives me an idea, actually. Huh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make the most literature theme by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. But what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. You're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like th this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well... Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you just say something? No, no nothing. Let's just do the icing. 
Little Gear picks up the pace and fastens the nozzle into the box. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quick, quickly moves on. She shows, she shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each go to work. When we finally finish, Natsuki puts all sides by, uh, to, uh, by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Ooh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My, my, da my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Sorry. Again, stupid names. <laughs> <laughs> Sayu is the uh, exact opposite of that regard. If she was here, you will probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have some uh, have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki plays the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I could do that. And don't worry, I don't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh. Yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayuri earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayuri always does think, uh, listening to me. But at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Still, uh, uh, just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. I feel like the afternoon went by uh, in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get close to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'd be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before about not uh, not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that it's possible. I'd like to spend more time <laughs> like this. If you want to read manga or go out sometime, somewhere, um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. New kid. I thought you only cared about getting this done. Ugh. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really, uh, I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way you do, so... Natsuki suddenly gets close to me. Wait, Natsuki? Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently uh, clutch at the side of my shirt, as if holding into me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matches eyes, and matching eyes fills my vision along with her slender parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel a soft breath against me. I've felt it for a while now. 
Lad os ikke sådan lidt jobs back. Sejrdi? Ja. Ah. Hej, new kid. Sayori? Just now we want. <laughs> It's okay, new kid. I just stopped by to say hi. Ah. Uh, well, you, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well. I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurls off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori? I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, <laughs> well. I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see for see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such a good friend. That's all that matters to me. Tears starts to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, new kid? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, new kid. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just. Monica. Monica was right about what? Sayuri. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this is. Isn't the burden you might is making it out to be? It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would trade for any that I wouldn't trade for anything. That is something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until that don't feel any more until you don't feel any more pain. But Sarah looks away. I put her hand on her shoulder to, uh, to reassure her. I'm scared, new kid. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared of that. Uh, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself, new kid. I like you so much, I want to die. That's how I feel. And... and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slip my hand down Sayori's arm and squeezes her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Any of you don't understand all of your own feelings. I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. <laughs> Fucking dang it! <laughs> Game I hated. So you gotta love her or friends on her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at these kind of things, you know. <laughs> That's fucking dang it, I have to take a choice, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I love you. <laughs> yeah. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way I could tell me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. 
but spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day. It helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side. Then I know I'll both be happy. New kid. Suddenly Sayu wraps her arms tightly around me. New kid. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayuri in my arms and pull her closer. You never have to let go of me again. I love you, new kid. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayuri's grip around my uh, me weakened a little bit. What is... what is this? Sayuri? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest, happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, new kid. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Uh, okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that make the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we're really a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. Well... Go at whatever pace you suit your best. Hey, new kid. She gazed at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what Sayori meant by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It feels like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, but she loves and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feeling as she is. Even though I can't comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know this, uh, I know this force will continue to play me until uh, things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant uh, by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I do whatever it takes uh, to have a happy future with her. Well, screw my life. I'm going home now. I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We can continue. Uh, it's the day of the festival. I don't know how that's long that is. It's not that long. Okay. Um, by the way, Momo has played some of his. She's cheating. <laughs> I'm not cheating. <laughs> I'm just experienced. <laughs> that is why that it is me that this is all a new experience for. So, but okay, it's the day of the festival. Of all days, I accept this to be the one where I'll be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering the phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up. But I decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, my preparation at the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all of the cupcakes my, uh, myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natuki is already texting me a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. 
funnily enough, I probably felt the same way as naturally about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayuri and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. New kid, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yui would be here by now. Monica is placing a little uh, booklet uh, on each of the desk in the classroom. They must be the one. Uh, they must be the ones she prepared. That has all the poems we are performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like, and submitted it. So, that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she always slept again. That dummy. You think that on <laughs> you think that on days this important she tried a little harder. I said that, but I suddenly remembered that she already told me yesterday, and I suddenly felt awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's way I'm used to thinking. But maybe we should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> You should take a little responsibility for her new kid. I mean, especially after the exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But... I stamped embarrassed. <laughs> I stamped embarrassed. They say you really tell her about that quickly. Crit uh, that we are a couple now. I didn't really, uh, I didn't really plan on brag <laughs> her bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story of at all. So don't worry, I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Huh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt it chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out in the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is nearly printed. Uh, on its own page, giving it an uh, almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayuri's poem. It's different from the ones she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Read before. Look at that. Get out of my head, get out- I'm not repeating that. <laughs> um, get out of my head, get out of my head. <laughs> okay, get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish this poem. But a poem is never actually finished, it just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a, a pit in my stomach. New kid? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else that you're reading. Written. Uh, but more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get... <laughs> I'm going to go get Sayori, so... Ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out after me. I quickly, I quickly my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal at uh, to at least wait for her or help her wake up. 
even the simple gesture of, of walking her to school makes her really happy. Makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and that's what I want to give to her. I reach Yuri's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up the phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayuri? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in the in her own house. It really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, I just feels right. Outside the Yuri's room, I knock on her door. Say Yuri, wake up her, dun her dummy. There's no response. I really didn't uh, want her to enter. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breath of privacy, a breach of privacy? But she really leave me no choice. I gently open the door. You did see the text up there, right? There was something? Yeah. Okay. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. So you wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe but I'm eyes is shown, not me. I suppose the earth to vomit. I suppressed the earth to vomit. vomit. Just yesterday, I told you you I would be there for her. I told her I'd know what's best and that everything would be okay. Then why... Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayuri needed at all. She even told me how painful it was for uh, for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My uh, swarming fruit kept telling me everything. What? What? Yeah, but was it right that I said? Everything I could have done uh, to rent this. If I once, if I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like I always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw this literary club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this kilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed for me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Um, you're kind of glitched there. No, really. <laughs> she 
She's gone, you know. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm not okay with this anymore. What the fuck? Okay, so even though I've played this before, often, uh, what the point where, um, he finds her hanging herself, my heart was actually pounding really, really fast because I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. And the continued button is kind of um, screwed. <laughs> okay, we're not done here at all, I think. <laughs> we have to continue. Uh -huh. So I guess we have to press the continue button at some point. In the next episode. In the next episode. <laughs> So, uh, what's, what's your opinion on the, the horror? <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> oh, fucking god. Okay, so... Um, this is a good way to end an episode. <laughs> now it's a horror game. <laughs> Took only five parts, but now it's a horror game. <laughs> okay, but... Um, we will continue this in uh, the next uh, episode and see what's uh, different this time around. Mm -hmm. And see who else is going to die. Because that's apparently a theme now. So, um, with that, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can write it in the comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So, until next time, farewell.